This little icon down here, can you see? Looks like a little box and a little arrow in the, in the center. Click on it, it says System Updates Available. Click it and see what happens. Alright, so. It's basically HRI66. Basically says it has enhancement support for Adobe Flash 10.2. Which is available on the market on March 18th. Daylight savings and adjustments. And expect to take three to five minutes. Let's go ahead and apply the update. So the file is a 15.4 megabyte. It's already right. downloaded. Now it's rebooting the device. All right, progress bar is almost done. Now the device has rebooted again. All right, it looks like it's almost done. Sorry. Zooming in, you can see the Android version is 3.01 and the build number is HRI66. Now, I already installed the leaked version of Flash that was circulating on the web. On the web. Well, I downloaded mine from AndroidPolice.com and it seems to run okay. So let me show you that I have Adobe Flash first. Adobe Flash 10.2, you guys can see. Let's try out CNN.
Yes, yeah, it's tragic what's happening over there in Japan. Seems to run very well. Alright. The HTM5 test still score um, 218. No dramatic change. Pretty much everything the same thing. Let's see how well it does over this. Sun Spider. Alright, this guy as you can see, zoom in here. And it's slight improvement from last time, but not overall dramatic, but it's scored uh, 2070 milliseconds. Not bad. So, that's a Sunspire test right, for let's you. Let's test out how the native web browser is performing after the update. So, here we are at ngadget.com. You can see. A problem with the iPad 2 already. Let's find a embedded YouTube video. Here we are. Here's one right here. Nice to have the flash on demand loads up quickly one click usually let's seems to play the video back smoothly now let's test how typing is while having the YouTube playing back Seems to typing seems to be typing seems to be okay. There's no lag that um, now that I have the video display turned off. So now I'm just trying to t type in the field text field box. Seems perfectly normal. Looks like they resolved the lag issue while typing. So, looks like the update really helped.